An entire section of downtown Lynn has transformed into an outdoor museum. Just the first phase of an effort to enhance the city through art. The creator calls it going beyond walls. Arts editor Jared Bowen has more. My name is Funky, F-O-N-K-I, and I paint. For me, graffiti is really a reflection of the city. The community is going to live with, with our paintings in a way. So it's going to be their painting, it's not ours anymore. Giving the city of Lynn some renewed pride and ownership is the mission of business executive turned art crusader Al Wilson. Is this something drastic? I think it is. Yeah, I really think it is. We put up 26,000 square feet of paint. And we did it with 20 artists doing 15 walls in 10 days. My name is Victor Quinones. I go by Marco 27. I was telling Al when he first invited me to do this, I said, Al, you know, this is so much bigger than you, and it's bigger than us. It's even bigger than Lynn. And I really wanted to paint something that kind of celebrates cultural diversity and brings beauty to, you know, being from somewhere else. This is the first phase in a project that will bring more lighting downtown, that will see the installation of nine vintage neon signs, and the return of the first jet engine ever manufactured in the U.S., made here by GE in 1942. But first, Wilson commissioned these murals after reviewing more than 70 applicants. The chief criteria? The work had to be family-friendly and diverse. It's making sure that we had really top talent from the Dominican, from Cambodia, from Puerto Rico, um, from the various cultural groups that make up this community. I'm Nicole Salgar. And I'm Chuck Barrett. And as a team, we're NSCB. New England is obviously the oldest American history that we have. And so we kind of wanted to pay tribute to the people who were here before uh, the Europeans settled the area. And so basically what we decided to paint was a female native who is, uh, she will be shooting a bow and arrow, uh, basically a kind of across the sky. So when you come in on the train, she's shooting across the city of Lynn. My name is Georgia Hill and I'm an artist from Sydney, Australia. This mural for Beyond Walls in Lynn is a large piece that's kind of lettering and texture together. So I wanted to spell out something that gave a message of change is always just around the corner. My name is Say Adams and I'm an artist. This is going to say I feel love and it's an homage to Donna Summer. Didn't see that coming, did you? In just the first weeks the murals have been installed, a number of area businesses we spoke with told us revenue is up, thanks to the mural bound. And that's the hope, that this will make Lynn more destination-worthy, that the art here will become an economic engine. For Wilson, it was a good enough business plan for him to quit his day job. Here, I, I didn't need to focus on profitability. I, I needed to just focus on a return on investment. Working with the community, you can ensure that that's what you're able to achieve. You know what? I think that you can transform a whole community with a can of spray paint. I really do believe that. Jared Bowen, WGBH News. You can find out much more about the ongoing transformation of Lynn, the many artists behind it, and big plans for the future at beyond-walls.org.